guys, this is Hawkeye, and we are back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And we are back at Rocky Lake, Colorado, mainly because I received a message from a good viewer of mine. His name is Bear Lambert, and he was asking how could he, at a level 11, try to grind XP without having to go to Texas or look to the Lone Star map. Well, there is other places, well, there, there's other places that you can do this, but one place that I recently discovered that's fairly quick and easy to grind the XP is here at Rocky Lake. Now, it used to be that if you had to fish for anything to get any XP, it used to be the Rainbow Trout, and the Rainbow Trout used to be a lot easier to catch, but since the last update, they're not so easy to catch anymore. However, there was a new species added that has made it a lot easier, guys. And this particular species is the White Sucker. Now, what I'm going to show you guys as far as the tackle that's required for this does not require above a level 8. Alright guys, let's take a good look at the tackle and the equipment that I'm going to be using for this particular event. Alright, the rod that I happen to be using is called the Omni Float 14 foot by 10 inch. Now, this is a level 8 rod. A Callisto XS 1400, also a level 8. As far as line, I'm using the Mono.008. It's level 6. And I'm using a number 2 hook, which seems to be the best hook to use. Now, you can use a number 1 and a 1 knot but I have more luck with the number two I don't know why and as far as bait we're talking peas guys we're talking cheap 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 and your leader needs to be set at about 99 inches so all the way just like you would if you were fishing for catfish and as far as the bobber not really particular on the bobber I happen to be using an oval, so I'm sort of going somewhere in the mid-range here. It doesn't have to be cast out that far, so you don't have to use a great big heavy bobber. Anyway guys, let's get to it. We're going to be going to Trout Galore portion of the map. Now you can catch them over at Ferntastic Fishing, but I've had a lot more luck here at Trout Galore. So I'm going to start a new private room here. And we're going to get started. Alright, you'll notice it's 5 a.m. And these guys seem to bite best at the peaks. So, my favorite spot for fishing them is right in this general area right here. Right next to that patch of grass or lilies or whatever you want to call them. Now I would make sure my drag is down a bit because when they first grab this, they can they can pull pretty hard. I mean we're talking this is a lighter rod, lighter line, so they can snap it pretty easy. So just just keep it low. Now I have fished, you know, usually when I fish this in the past, I fished them with a much heavier rod, and I can pull them in without any effort, but I want to make sure that everybody can catch these guys. So we're just going to sit here and let it sit for a second and see if we get any any interest. Alright guys, we're getting a bite. Just remember, they will start just nibbling and then all of a sudden they usually grab it like that. See? They grab hard. Now once you kind of get an idea of where you stand as far as as your drag goes, you can up it a little bit. And you're going to have a fight on your hands. Because, like I said, this is a lighter rod, lighter reel. So it isn't going to be exactly easy, but it's not like you're going to be pulling in a great big flathead either, so. You will definitely get some enjoyment out of it. Out of it. <clears throat> I 
And there we go. There's one white sucker plus 32, and that's actually kind of small, guys. And that's what they look like. Kind of an ugly looking fish. <laughs> Alright, let's give her another try. Again, I'm going to take the drag down just a bit because, like I said, he was a little bit on the small side. Just a little on the small side. Alright guys, I think we're getting a bite again. He's not really hitting it very hard. There he goes, see? These guys are real... I mean, they're real light. You, get, you really have to watch. See, he's a plus 39. See, that's that's pretty daggone good. Really not a whole lot of effort involved here, guys. Much, much easier than catching the rainbows, that's for sure. Much more relaxed. You're not sitting there having to cast and cast and cast. You just sit and wait for them to come to you. See what I mean by these guys? It's almost constant. You can pull them in one right after another, guys. One right after another. He's a bit of a fighter. on this guy. Come on in here. You're not a bass or anything. You don't have a... Yeah, he's coming now. Well, he was not giving it up, was he? Plus 36. And he wasn't as huge as I thought. He was just a heck of a fighter. I'm going to try one more time and then I'm going to advance time to about the next peak. And that's around 5 in the evening. Roughly. I'm not exactly sure. I think it's 5. I'll have to look. There we go, guys. We got another interested party. I think the next time he does it, he's going to go for it. What, you quit on me? He's still there. There we go. If we do this quick, we can get him in before he has a chance to really fight. There we go. Plus 34. Alright guys, let's advance time here just a little bit in the morning most of the time. I think I was getting more hits at 7 as opposed to 5. These guys like to feed late.
Alright guys, we got a survivor. Looks like they're a little closer in this time. Come on, fish. There we go. Yeah guys, I apologize for that. For some reason... Now I think I did get quite a few at 5, but it seems like these guys really like to bite around 7. Just after, just as the peak starts to wind down. And they are closer for some reason. Maybe not that close, but we'll see. not really happy with it being that close. Let me throw it out a little further for that. I like having the ability to kind of bring it in little bits at a time until something decides they're interested. See? Right about... Seems to be... The mid 30s seems to be the sweet spot. There he goes. Now, I do know in Alberta that these come. And trophy size but I'm not so sure they do here I've caught quite a few and I've never caught a trophy here but they range between 31 to sometimes plus 40 XP and that is extremely useful if you're wanting to get the XP guys anyway I hope that helps a little bit and I hope you find it a little bit, you know, a little bit easier to know that you could use these lower level rods, but you don't have to have some kind of major, you know, seafaring rod practically to be able to fish these guys out of here. But anyway, guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode of Fishing Planet. Until then, bye bye.